gonna just go, let me use this glass, okay? This is really important. So this, this glass is my world, okay? Right now, I'm inside and I'm a specialist and this is how much I know. But I'm looking outside the glass, seeing what else the other people are doing and the new techniques are involved. So there's so much more to learn for me. And I think we need to know our limitations and understand that we have to expand our knowledge and skill base to do courses so that you can achieve the best results. The Osteology Foundation was necessary because we wanted to uh, generate more information about bone tissue, but we also wanted to deliver information about bone tissue to the practitioners who were installing implants on a regular basis into the jawbone. And without this transfer of knowledge from the scientist to the practitioner, we don't believe that implant dentistry would have become such a success that it has become. Linking science with practice in regeneration is the motto with which we also conducted our clinical project. We know of a substance which is used in osteoporosis therapy and stimulates bone formation. We have applied this to the oral domain. With the support of the Osteology Foundation, we were able to investigate the effect of teriparatide on osseointegration of oral implants in a clinical study. The promotion of research, like that of the Osteology Foundation, is extremely important for young researchers, as there are many projects that are research intensive and therefore cost a lot of money. I registered for the Research Academy after the advice of my colleague and professor. As I am starting research, besides the clinical practice, I really felt the need to dig deeper into this field. This course gave me a huge push in my starting research and scientific career. Learning all the scientific aspects of research was one thing, but we learned it from internationally well-known top dentists and researchers, which was a really big thing. Besides that, it was a great thing to meet young colleagues, dentists and researchers from all around the world, and this can lead to international scientific collaborations, hopefully in the near future. Science usually starts with a bright idea to improve patients' treatment. But then some questions arise on how to design the optimal experiments, which model should be used, which analysis should be run. This was very precious information, very difficult to get when I was a young researcher. But now we have the osteology research guidelines, which offer a great opportunity and describe in detail, based on state-of-the-art scientific evidence, preclinical but also clinical models for oral tissue regeneration. I wish I've had this opportunity when I was a young researcher. Besides research funding, the education of practitioners is a core task of the Foundation. Therefore, it organizes national and international symposia. But no, I mean, the reality is, I think the Osteology Foundation exposes you to some of the most international speakers that are available to you. And since they run the meetings locally, and to have the biggest speakers in one venue is an opportunity that you cannot miss, that I cannot miss. Just to be in that environment makes you enthused in what you're doing. You know, you're doing the right things, you're going in the right direction. And I think that's very, very important. To be around people with those, that sort of enthusiasm just makes you want to do things in a much more better way.